Katie Price insists she didnt call the police on fiancé Carl Woods following the alleged assault in her home last month. The 43-year-old, who was left with a bruised face after the incident, commented on an Instagram post by Carl in which he said he would never hurt her. Katie wrote today, Fact, I've always said don't believe everything you read in the media and what Carl is saying is true. Fact I've never called the police on Carl my police investigation I'm currently going through to a incident a few weeks ago is not to do with Carl. This man's mental health is so low and easy to say suicidal. Someone played what they thought was a clever game and involved the media with inaccurate information. In his video, which was filmed inside a car, Carl insisted, the truth will come out. The 32-year-old broke his silence following the incident two weeks ago, writing in a statement, I would never hit or hurt her. Speaking to camera, he said HES been in hiding through the roughest month of his life. He added, I'm a good fella, always have been. Explaining how speculation and troll attacks following the incident have affected his mental health, he went on, I've not been on Instagram for a long, long time. Let me tell you this past month has been one of the roughest of my life. I had to go into hiding and shut down. If I wasn't a stronger person in the head it would absolutely have defeated me. So everyone who abused me and everyone said vile things about me, just because of what they read in the paper and how the paper decide to make it look like for their own stories. Everyone just remember who I am and all the things I did at the start when I first came onto the scene, that's all I can say. I'm a good fella. I've always been a good fella and always will be a good fella. Anyone who thinks anything different of me, when you know the truth and am allowed to tell the truth, you'll be eating your words. I just hope everyone who had the balls to abuse me has the balls to say sorry. That is what I ask because I've screenshotted every single one of you. And finally just as I said in my story last time, I come under so much speculation and so much vile abuse because of how the media was played. I have never and would never, ever do a thing to hurt Katie, never. He added, never ever, ever, have I felt so low. I've never been involved in this media world before. I've never seen how corrupt, it is. Pointing fingers at people and people jump on the bandwagon and say the most vile things with no factual information whatsoever. Police were called to Katie's home in Essex at around 1.30am on Monday August 23. A man in his 30s was held on suspicion of assault and theft. Essex police confirmed he has been released on police bail, but the man was re-bailed earlier this week. Today the bail date was extended until next month. Katie and car dealer Carl embarked on a whirlwind romance in June 2020 after being set up by a mutual friend. Mum of five Katie got engaged for the seventh time to Carl in April, with the ex-glamour model calling him her Prince Charming.